Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. So today we're doing uh, Sword Art Online Acceleration. I know I'm butchering that. And we're doing Season 1, Episode 6 called Project Acceleration. So we start off with Asuna grills a creature's boss. Literally grills him, makes him feel guilty, feels ashamed, and all the things. And it's amazing to watch. <laughs> And then, uh, so he literally airs it all out about what it, what he did, why he did what he did, because, um, this is supposed to help his brain not go to, uh, basically crud because of the injury that happened to him. So this is supposed to help them get through stuff and mentally at least. And it's only been like two weeks, but like in the, um, actual universe it's been like two years so yeah so uh, then Renko wants the full details and so he does and so basically the end game is multi-purpose AI that's their end game period is trying to create a unsuccessful multi-purpose AI so it can think for itself and learn different tasks like on the fly and like just learn different things like like a normal person would do so that's why they do this game because these sprites are um f uh was it what what it starts with the i don't know it's like the soul translator so basically they tried to use that on i think it was like babies or something and as their souls are kind of uploaded into this program, they try to make it think or something. Because when they tried it with an adult, it failed hard. And when they realize that they're actually AI, they go crazy cuckoo pants. Anyway, if we go into further detail, basically they copied a human soul. Was, okay, it's so a flood to light fail. And so they use a newborn infants. And so they're creating a like a virtual reality and like three weeks is 300 years uh, so it's only been like two days or something so um the issue is the taboo index because they didn't create that index they that's what the people in the game put in there so that's why the whole thing is, is you know kind of want want on that so asuna calls them out some more and she wants, because she's like appalled that he's actually using kids for this, like little babies. And it's just like insane. And she wants the AIs to, uh, she, so she thinks that he wants the AIs to off people. But he wants to end war. So she's kind of right, kind, you know. So anyway, he kind of spins it. So uh, Asuna wants AI to have rights. He doesn't care. And then we cut to July 5th where um, Asuna talks to her friend. So she's had a couple days to digest this and then airs her thing out to her friends. And wanted the AI to be named Alice. And then we cut to... Akai is taking care of Grito, who was the nurse in the first place when when Kurito first went to the whole thing with the Sword Art Online originally. She, she was the nurse that took care of him through stuff and helped him with rehab and everything. And then Ranko talks to Asuna and she basically said that uh, Kaiba put a bomb in her um, chest. And that he would never set it off. So basically, she, he wanted to use that as like a, like, she had to do what she did. But she, they both knew that he would never do that to her because she, because he loved her so much. So it was like basically her immunity. And so that's why she got off scot-free and everything. So it was actually a really clever idea, but I think like it was never even activated or anything. It was just something that was in there, but also she had it removed since then. Anyway, so she was going to um, off him, but um, herself, but she couldn't do it. Um, 
then, you know, just because she, so, she felt so sick about everything that he was doing in terms of people being tracked in the game. Then we cut to where Suna said, um, doesn't blame her or him. And then Raiko thought uh, she saw Kaiba um, when she woke up from a nap. So basically, um, like Asuna left the room and everything. And so when she woke up, she saw thought she saw Kaiba. Then she opened her, um, like blinked and like rubbed her eyes, and he it, he disappeared. So I don't know what that was about, but I thoroughly enjoyed that episode. <laughs> that was in the episode. I give it an A. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really good and I thought it was thoroughly enjoyable. The way Asuna went off was so crazy but I loved it. Everything about this episode was really good. The action scenes, the way they explain stuff, they kind of break it down for people, you know, like me who don't understand half of this stuff. <laughs> Anyway, I really enjoyed it. It was really good, and that's one of the for this episode. And also to see that, also what I liked was like um, to see the forgiveness that Asuna gave to Kaiba and Raiko. Like she doesn't blame them at all. I thought it was like it showed really a lot of growth for her. So anyway, that's one of the for this video. Say so like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Just tell me your old thoughts down below. I'm interested to hear what y'all think. And also, any suggestions for any other shows? Also, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe. This helps out the channel a lot. And I hope y'all have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody. Um, subscribe. Bye.